Hello and welcome to my knife channel. Well, I received two more knives in. And this guy's called an elephant toe, even though he looks just like the sunfish. And I believe this one's called a sunfish. This is not listed in the Smoky Mountain Knife Works catalog. But it's one of the black and blue pattern. I had to go to eBay to get this guy and pay probably twice what you would pay at Smokey. But if you want it fast, you got to get it when you see it. Uh, same thing with their uh, Rough Riders coming out with a uh, cinnamon kind of um, pattern that I really like. And uh, they actually have a doctor's knife in that pattern. Not available at Smoky Mountain Knife Works again. The people that produced it don't have it, but the people that ordered from the factory, I guess, the other retailers, somehow they have them. So anyways, I don't know if I'm going to get the doctor's knife because on eBay it's like $29. So that's kind of high. But though that pattern seems to be going high. Anyways, what we got right here is I just used this guy's comparison. This is the blue mule, and it's perfect in the pole and everything else. This one, there's several. This is marbles, and they have, they have several patterns. They all. I'm gonna get the the weight on them here in a second, but they all feel about the same weight, which is uh, substantial, but it feels good in the hand. Uh, this one comes in. They have a grin ring like that. Then they've got him. An, another version where he's standing like this so it's like vertical instead of horizontal and uh they have another one that has halloween and it's got halloween on one side and then i think a grim reaper on the other side i'll put the pictures up from what i can find of, at Smokey's mountain ice Works. but this particular one has got a very nice pull just like uh this guy over here i'd rate it about a six a good half stop i have not cleaned and flushed the pivots or anything yet so i mean i just got them in like two minutes ago maybe five minutes ago a very nice they've got good half stops very nice lockup this interface is okay I'm, I'm not getting any rock when it locks up and everything um like i said good half stop and then you've got the side is smooth you got a pin blade and also a good like a six or so pull on that. It just says marbles up on the stamp, tang stamp and over here. Of course you got the match strike nail pull. They could have gone with a long one. You don't really even need. I usually grab them right here. You usually just pull it like that and open it up. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. The... You can feel this texture, this pattern here. It looks like they, it, see it even etched over the pin there, the the roll pin. Because I was looking at it and I go, why is this one kind of shiny? And then when I realized, oh, it's the, it's the pin. So yeah, I really like that one. Now this one is, is one that I really like the pattern on and everything. Two things I like about it is the blades and the pattern. But uh, we have an issue here, not a not a throwaway issue or anything like that, a return issue. But the pull on this was really soft, really light. I'd say like about a three. I mean, it won't shake open, and it's kind of gritty. I haven't flushed the pivots or anything, but there's there's definitely. I don't know if you can hear it. No, you can't. It's got a decent lockup snap to it. So the half stop is eh. See, one most knives will just fall back into that half stop with the spring strong enough. This one, nah, it ain't gonna do it, you know. But that's the only disadvantage. I like the the blade shape, the big sheep's foot or ram's foot type of blade shape. It's got a nice swedge on it. Um, it's really a nice knife. It's not so weak. I'm gonna hold it like this when I cut anyway. It's not so weak that it's gonna come back at me and you can feel it if you're holding like this you can you can feel this spring kicking up and it pushing on your hands to give you kind of a warning if you're doing something stupid or you're pulling backwards um 
yeah, it's got a nice little bomb shield on there. It says Rough Rider. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. I really like this texture, too, of the saw cut. You can really feel that in your hand. Although it still feels like the acrylic finish on it, it still kind of feels a little slick, but it has enough, not super grippy grips, is what I'm trying to say. And they doubled down on the RT. They put it on this side, too. I know they try to say, well, that's that's not really RT. It looks like RT to me, you know? Maybe the another guy working there, his name is T, and he wanted to be, he's like second in command. He wanted to take over, and he said, I, I got a way of putting my name on these knives without them knowing it. So, yeah, we've been asking for him, hey, just leave it like this. Just leave them smooth, you know? It didn't hurt you to do it on this one. This thing looks cool, man. No shield, no nothing. Like I said, if you if you get a a good enough name, see this one's got a damn strong one. That's all you need to put right there. That's all you need, buddy. We know if you're a good knife, then people will be asking for you by name, and you don't have to billboard it all over the place. Anyway. That's just my two cents, you know, I mean, this knife looks okay, but used to be you could flip it to another side and not have to see it. Marbles, you don't see a big M over here. You don't see a big M all over the place. Marbles. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyways, yeah, that's the only disadvantage on this one. I don't know if it's endemic to the entire Rough Rider line. Also, let me show you this one, though. See that interface up there? I mean, it's okay, but there's that big gap. You can't feel anything. It, there's no rock. It's just kind of like, I found that if they've got a good back spring on them and they've got a good interface, you're going to get a nice good snap like that when that thing lines up. A lot of that has to do with the spring, too. The back spring on this one, I believe, is kind of weak. But, like I said, I love the blade shape. I'll overlook that. And uh, I really love this pattern. I might wind up getting all of them, even if I don't like some things like peanuts and stuff. Just to get the complete pattern. Uh, there's a little bit of gapping here. Let's zoom in some more. This guy I paid almost $30 for. So, but I can't evaluate it at like a knife that's thirty dollars type of price because i got it on the secondary market so i go with whatever um smoky mountain knife works list and right now they don't list this knife but i'd say it would probably be about seventeen dollars so i paid about ten dollars more for this one i'm not getting any they, they come really close to the edge on these a lot And it's trying to do a little bit. This one here, I think, had some. Nope. Nope. Yeah, you're not going to get, like, super centered knives. And you can see how I can just push that and get it to come over. So, I mean, if it was a custom knife, you might put a shim over here or something, you know, to thicken this that side up and make it close over there but i don't know for what you're getting i like it so i have one more rough rider elephant toe slash sunfish I, if anybody knows the difference between an elephant toe and a sunfish i know i mean i know what a sunfish fish is and i know what an elephant toe toe looks like but as far as knife patterns i always thought i had it figured out that a sunfish was like equal end, and an elephant toe had a tapered end, you know, like big on one end and smaller diameter on the other one. Apparently that's not the case. Uh, so, anyway, there you go. There's some little knives that I got in. Oh, yeah, let's get the weight on these guys. I wanted to get the weight here. Turn it on. Whatever it comes up, it comes with grams of weight grams first. Looks like grams. 
170 grams. I think this guy's probably a little heavier, maybe not. Yep, 177. Not by much. They're all about the same. Let's switch it over two ounces so it doesn't freak out. Six ounces. 5.9. 6.2. These, all these, you know, you look at them and you think, wow, that's a lot of weight. But it, I think it really adds, it, it adds to it. Uh, the feel. It feels substantial in your hand. You know you don't have a little dinky knife and everything. And it's distributed enough. It's wide and it's distributed enough that you don't feel... I've carried them in my um, pockets. The bottom of the pants pockets. Not these new ones, but this guy. I've carried them in the bottom of the pants pockets. And uh, yeah, you know it's there, but it's not, it's not super heavy. With a slip, it'd be even easier or in the back pocket. Still, great little knife. So there you go. Some elephant toad sunfish weird creatures. I don't know what they are. They're elephant toad or sunfish. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. One thing I forgot to add is the boxes. The Rough Rider came in this magnetic black and blue magnetic box and uh cellophane wrapper and the marbles whoa not my lucy light over the marbles came in this little marbles box there we go big reaper engraved and it has that marbles paper type stuff these are cool boxes because look at the they're basically the same kind of knife and look how much more space these are all right if you only got like one or two and you want to display them you know you like to pop the lid open them. but for storage or if you collect a lot of knives these are gonna wind up taking up a lot of space this won't take up much space and the only other thing i'd like to add i forgot to mention is this is what I really like about this knife, is the uh, the blades. And you hear that? Kind of... I haven't flushed the pivots, and this one's extra gritty. I don't know if you can hear that. This one's kind of gritty, and then... It's got a good um, final talk, but this walk is kind of lame. Where's this guy? Ugh. You really gotta pull him. Mm. He solidly locks in. Uh, uh, he solidly snaps in. Uh, uh, you know when you're in a half stop. And then. Yeah. You can't do that with this one. You can push your finger all the way down and he'll. He won't fall on his own. Keep going. Come on. You know you can fall. Come on. There we go. Finally. This one also has got a really good walk and talk on him. Pow! That's the best one. Alright, yeah, I just wanted to add that one in there. Forgot about those uh, boxes.